I heard someone recently say that there is no difference in polyamory in dating. Do you agree? I share my thoughts on this and whether I agree or not. I'm Angie, stick around with me and let's talk love. So before we begin, I first wanna say that I don't know anybody personally in a polyamorous relationship or I don't have like firsthand knowledge of what it truly means. Anything that I am talking about today, I have researched and just learned on my own. Cause like I said, I don't know anybody and I don't get down like that myself, but I heard the comment and it made me wanna do some further research on polyamory as a whole. I knew about polygamy, but I didn't know necessarily the details of polyamory. And when I first heard polyamory and dating is the same thing I was like oh well it is you know sort of in a, in a way so I wanted to do some further research and share my research with people out there that are dating that you know just just want to learn about this or share your opinion or open up the platform of is there a difference what's the difference does it matter you know whatever the case may be so drop your thoughts below on do you think polyamory and dating is the same thing in the meantime we're going to get to some facts about it before we begin, I first want to share the definitions of polyamorous and dating. I think it's important that we talk about the definitions so when I'm referring to this in this podcast, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So when we're talking about polyamory, polyamory is the practice of engaging in multiple romantic and typically sexual relationships with the consent of all the people involved. That is what polyamory is. And dating, by definition, is a stage of romantic relationships in which two individuals, listen to this carefully, engage in an activity together, most often with the intention of evaluating each other's suitability as a partner in a future intimate relationship. So that leads me to say that if you are just dating one person, I think polyamory will be different for you just hands down. But I think if you're the type to be dating multiple people, I think dating and polyamory could be similar, not necessarily the same, but similar. And I'm going to talk about how they can be similar in the difference between them so you can understand it. The reason why I broke it down like that before in those two distinctions is because dating is a matter of interpretation, right? So whereas polyamorous dating is not, it is what it is. Like there's no if, ands, or buts about it. But with dating, some people believe in dating just one person at a time, where other people believe in dating multiple people. I have a friend who she just likes to date one person at a time. She's like, one person is enough for me. I don't need to be focusing on multiple people. And I know other, I know other people that like to date multiple people. And I'm not going to get into judgment on here because I don't think neither one of them is necessarily wrong in dating. I think like the definition dating is in, is exploring suitability of a person. So it's not a committed relationship. You It's okay to date multiple people, but I think the problem lies is when you don't have good communication and you're not discussing with your partner, this is what dating looks like to me and this is what dating looks like to me. And if it's not working for you two, then I guess you don't need to be dating because you're probably not going to agree on stuff in marriage. So why even date? I think it's important that if you have the expectation of we're dating just one another, then you express that. Or if you have the, the mindset of, I want to date multiple people, then you express that too. But you need to have your expectations, especially when it comes to dating, because it'll set the precedent for your relationship. You need to express what dating looks like to you. And nobody can tell you, I could tell you what you need to be doing in the dating period to learn people, but I can't t necessarily tell you how to date, date one person or date multiple people. I think that's contingent upon the person and what they want going forward in their life. But I want to talk about how polyamory and dating are the same. The first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that some of the boundaries are the same. So we have the boundary of when I was doing my research, I noticed that communication is a big thing in a polyamorous polyamorous relationship as well as in it, it should be in dating, right? You're constantly communicating with one another. You need to communicate to learn each other. I think when you're in a polyamorous relationship, you have to communicate your expectations of the people that you're seeing. 
also you have to respect people's spaces people's um, choices etc and the same thing happens when you're dating you still need to be respecting this person's space you still need to be respecting this person's choices I read somewhere something about it's called polyfidelity where you can restrict sexual experiences with a certain group and I think it's fair to say that we kind of do that when we get when we're dating somebody okay I have the expectation of you not sleeping around on me or you not cheating on me or, or I don't want to say dating it could be cheating but I have the expectation of you're not going to be sleeping with somebody else while we're in this talking stage so the boundaries are very similar with both of them. I think also we need to talk about the fact that both of them have deal breakers. So if you don't respect these boundaries, like let's say you're in this polyamorous relationship and this person wants you to have a be in a relationship with who they're in a relationship that can be like considered a deal breaker whereas when you're dating you have deal breakers in dating okay those are what we call red flags and what i like to call some of those deal breakers can be green flags too they can look look really good but they're not good for you but the relationships both of them have deal breakers i don't think polyamorous relationships is one of those things where you're tolerating just anything you have an expectation you know you want to date two or more people but you still have expectations with one another and we'll talk about that later on this one is a huge one that i want to talk about because sometimes i think especially young people they see polyamorous and it's like oh dating two or more people that's dope that's going to be fun that's going to be oh my goodness i can do whatever i want to do and this is not the case you run into the same problems being polyamorous that you will being just dating one particular person or just being with one particular person and the reason is because life life happens to all of us nobody is exempt from a trial or two nobody is exempt from having troubles in this world now my trial may not look like your trial your tribulation may not look like my tribulation but they are still there. Everybody still has them. And I think a lot of the times we see polyamorous people and we're like, oh my goodness, they're living a life. No, they have certain things in their relationships that need to be upheld within them too. I don't think it's necessarily a free, a free for all. I think there's still some kind of boundaries. Like I said earlier, there's still some boundaries there. You're not just kind of doing what you want you're just doing it with multiple you're just doing relationships with multiple people and I think it's important for people like I said especially young people to understand that everybody has the same problems in the sense of we're all going to have relationship problems another thing too is they also have they both polyamorous relationships and dating they both have things that need to be agreed upon um, you no know, rules within the relationship that need to be agreed upon. Like I said, dating is a matter of interpretation. So we need to come to some kind of agreement. Okay, what are we doing? We Are we going to choose to date one another? Or are we going to choose to date around and let people know? We need to come to that agreement. I think with polyamorous, it's the same thing. They need to... I, I, what I gathered was they are aware of the other relationships. You're still coming to an agreement, even with the poly fidelity thing where you're coming to an agreement of, okay, we're not going to be sleeping around with just anybody and I need to know your sexual partners, etc. So those are just some of the ways where I think polyamory and dating from the research that I gathered that I think that they are similar. It's just the boundaries, just the life experience of it's not going to just stop going through trials and tribulations in relationship because you choose to date more people. If anything, I feel like it may, the more people, the more problems it could tend to be. You know what I'm saying? So like, like my friend was saying, I just want one person. I can only deal with one person. I could barely deal with myself. That's two people right there, me and him. So I get it. And then the third thing that I was talking about was how they both have deal breakers and they both run into the same problems I think I already said that I'm sorry guys and they both have rules that need to be agreed upon so I want to talk about the differences between the two and it's really really important that we talk about this because this will determine whether I agree with that statement or not in the end so I think the research that I gathered and from my interpretation and what I understood was that polyamory is not about being 
necessarily coupled but more so individuality i think it's more so focused on not being centered on just one person and when I thought about, when I saw the word individuality, it's kind of people being like a free spirit of, I like the company of more than one person, or I only, I enjoy the aspect of being with multiple people at one time. So I think when it's, when they're talking about individuality, it's more so of a free spirit of just not being tied down to one person. Because like I said, I think I heard Nick Cannon saying how he, now, Disclaimer, I don't agree with anything that Cannon is doing, but it just goes to the point of what I was making here is he was saying how he gets different things from each person that he's had a baby with. So one person may make him laugh in a moment where one other person may give him knowledge and one other person may show him the love and compassion that he needs. And so I think that's the saying with polyamorous dating is each individual person gives you something that you're looking for. And some people, you know, not to judge anybody, some people some people want that. Where I'm still understanding, I, I truly believe that nobody is going to be 100% what you need them to be. I'm a firm believer in that, and I believe that's why I believe people can't handle that, and that's why they end up being polyamorous, so they can get 100% of what they need from the multiple different people that they're in a relationship with. So another difference between the two is polyamorous can be a triad. So I read that you can be, have a relationship where you all have a relationship, kind of similar to a threesome, right? Whereas most people who are just dating, they're not interested in a triad. They're not interested in going on a threesome date. Now, they may have a threesome sexual relationship, I don't know. Again, it's a matter of interpretation, right? I'm just talking about normal people dating. Whether you date or not, you're still going on a date with two people. That was the definition of dating, where two people meet and greet and do all that stuff. But I think with polyamorous relationships, like I said, they can date. And it's not just about sleeping with the person, but you're just dating each other. I think one time, one of the... The R. Kelly girls was saying how on, on when she went on to Gail King how it's the relationship is no different than any other relationship they have they had individual time allegedly 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 I have to say allegedly they had individual time with R. Kelly and then they had time where they spent time together with the three of them and so polyamorous has that whereas dating. Most of the time, you do not see people on threesome dates. Unless it's a third wheel, unless it's like a cousin or something or a sister going out with. But it's, it's they're not dating each other. <laughs> Most of the time when you see people dating, it's just two people dating and enjoying the company. So that's a difference between that as well. Also, the seriousness of the relationship is different. So from my understanding, polyamorous can be like real, real relationships. Or it can just be casual. Whereas dating, to me, is just casual. It's no real... Of course, there's intention behind it. But there's no real seriousness behind it. I think when you get serious with somebody, that's when you move into a committed stage relationship. Now, again, it's all about understanding the stages of relationships. If you don't understand the stages of relationships... Of course, you're going to have, you know, you're not going to know. So those are just some similarities and some differences that I want to share. Now, again, I am a Christian and I firmly believe in being married to one person. I don't believe in having a, I don't believe in polygamy. And I know some people have said that, you know, the alpha male was not made to be monogamous. I think that's total BS and there's biblical proof to back, back that up. I'm a Christian. I firmly believe that. I'm a pastor's wife also. So just a little background on that. Also, I want to say disclaimer before I finish that thought. I don't believe that polyamorous is just about being sexual and having sexual experiences. I think people, like I said earlier, just genuinely like the company of multiple people and you know like Nick Cannon is a prime example of that but uh back to what I was saying with 
is monogamy meant for everyone? I don't think that a lot of people, because we're in the sin, we're still in flesh. I don't believe that people are capable of a lot of ethical things. To me, it's ethical to be monogamous. Like I said, I don't believe in polygamy. But overall, there are some very good similarities to make the argument of polyamorous relationships being very similar in the same to just dating around. But again, you can only make that judgment if you know what your interpretation of dating is for you. If you believe that dating is, it's okay to date multiple people, then it's, you're probably polyamorous to a certain extent. Now, you you don't believe in getting into a relationship with them, but you just believe in dating multiple people. And I guess, honestly, I could say that they're really not the same. Because, like, I, I just really just told them, you know, told myself that they're not the same. I, I, I think they're similar. I think they're similar. And I will just leave it at that. And I would love to hear everybody else's thoughts on how how they feel about the subject and if polyamory is the same as dating. I had a thought that they are similar, but they are quite different. And I think when it comes to just the dating experience, I think you should do how you feel. But like I said, when you get into marriage territory, there's no place for marriage in that. It's all over the Bible of people, of, of biblical scripture showing us of just the importance of having one partner and what happens when third parties come in I often tell the story of Abraham and Sarah in the Bible in flat out in Genesis where she wanted the baby so she had him go sleep with her handmaiden she had the baby and it ended up being jealousy so like I said if you guys don't have some kind of agreement I don't think it's going to work. I don't think people should get into these relationships with the expectation of this person has to be how I am. I think that's where we lose sight of things and then that confusion happens. Everybody is made differently. What this person does is up to them. What you do is up to you. And so I think that we should just be looking for discernment, uh, judge well. And I'm not saying, I'm not, not coming off like, because obviously the Bible tells us not judge not. But when I'm talking about judge, I'm just saying up here in your head. Use your good thinking. Put on your thinking cap and assess the situation appropriately. So I just want to say that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. I'm Angie, the teen wife that turned my struggles into strength, marital woes into wins, and made the mistakes so you don't have to. I'll see you all next week as we talk about liking the person versus liking the idea of them.